This is something a little bit special. It's the new Realme GT 5G. And I know it's a cliche and it's really annoying when people say this, but this is genuinely as close to a proper flagship killer phone that we've seen in years. It really is. And with this, we're getting a Snapdragon 888 processor and a 120 Hertz AMOLED screen, all for just 369 euros when it launches on June 21st. That's the same top of the line Snapdragon chip used in say the Galaxy S21 Ultra, which costs almost four times as much, or more realistically something like the OnePlus 9, which also uses it, but still costs almost twice as much as this Realme GT. So I don't think you can get a more powerful phone for less money. It's as simple as that. That's not to say this is perfect or it's not without compromise to get to this super low price, but you can't argue with the value for money. But it gets better because I've actually teamed up with Realme for a giveaway of the GT. Not just one or two or three or four or five. I actually get to give away 10 of these phones to you guys, which I think makes this my biggest giveaway ever for a phone, which is amazing. So a big thank you to Realme for uh, supporting the channel and also you guys with that. And I'll give you all the details for how to win at the end of the video. So stay tuned and also subscribe, obviously. So I've been playing with the new Realme GT 5G for a couple of weeks now, and this is their new flagship all singing, all dancing phone for 2021, which is no surprise given these specs. Inside the box, we have the usual gubbins, nothing too crazy until you see that bright yellow design. We also get a fast 65 watt dart charger and the usual USB-C cable, plus a nice little rubber case to keep your phone safe. And there it is, the famous Realme bright yellow, which is usually only reserved for the box, but this time it's actually on the back of the phone. Racing yellow it's called, along with its two-tone design. And well, since this phone is all about performance, this is clearly a go faster stripe as well. But it does kind of remind me of one of these Ford Mustangs. But I genuinely think this looks pretty cool and it feels good to hold as well. So it looks and feels like a faux leather and it nicely contrasts with the glossy stripe and it also serves to make it really grippy and comfortable. Plus it doesn't pick up any smudges or fingerprints. I do just have to read this though from their reviewer's guide for this and Realme say, the camera matrix extends infinitely downward, paying tribute to the bionic design of the tear stained headlights. The speedy yellow represents the dawn of the bright future at morning, a tribute to the young people who are moving at full speed. Who writes this <laughs> Marketing spiel aside, we have this triple lens camera at the top, power button on the right hand side, volume and the dual SIM tray, although no micro SD sadly on the left, and then on the bottom we get the speaker, we do get stereo speakers by the way, USB-C port, and look at that, a headphone jack. Not something you see very often on a top spec phone like this. And then finally up front, we have this little corner hole punch selfie cutout. We also get an in-screen fingerprint reader and the whole thing weighs just 186 grams. The only downside really is that there's no wireless charging and also we're not getting any official IP rating. So don't take this in the shower with you. Okay, let's not mess around. Let's see what this thing can do. And the entry level model I have here comes with a healthy eight gigs of RAM and 128 storage. Although I did wonder if maybe Realme had cut some corners on the speed of the RAM and storage, but rest assured, it's the good stuff. DDR5 and UFS 3.1. So I ran the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme 20 minute stress test to see how the GT would fare. And these are the results. But then if I bring in the brand new OnePlus Nord CE, which just launched and costs about the same as this, but with a Snapdragon 750G, and also the OnePlus 9, which was one of the cheapest 888 phones you could buy, you can see there's really no compromise with the GT despite its lower price. So no surprises really, anything you throw at this, it just breezes through. And of course, since we have this 120 Hertz screen, it'll fully max out games that support the high refresh. All it's missing is a couple of shoulder buttons and a clip on fan, and this would be a proper gaming phone. And naturally the performance carries over to everyday use as well. So we're getting Android 11 out of the box, but you can actually install the Android 12 beta straight away if you want to. And we also have Realme's UI 2.0 skin on top. Yes, there's the usual pre-installed apps and bloatware that helps them keep the cost down a little bit, but I just remove or hide them away in a folder, so it's not a big deal. And generally I find the UI really nice to use. 
It's fast. I like having the Google News Feed left of the home screen. There's a ton of customization options. And actually, I quite like some of the options you get in the Labs menu as well. I keep smooth scrolling and DC dimming turned on. And also, Realme promises at least two years of Android updates. So the headline really is the fact that we're getting the Snapdragon 888 at this price point. But the other big selling point for me is the fact that we're getting this 120 hertz AMOLED screen because I review the latest Realme 8 and 8 5G and that's always kind of like a balance between do you want high refresh with an LCD screen or AMOLED at 60 hertz. It's often like this sort of balancing act just because they're trying to keep the cost down and there's always a bit of a compromise. But not with this. This is the best of both worlds. Plus, we're getting a 360 hertz touch sampling rate, which is particularly useful for gaming. And in the display settings, you can switch between P3, sRGB, and brilliant picture modes, although I tend to keep it in vivid. And I also turned on the edge lighting. I think the neon purple looks quite snazzy. As for the battery, it's okay. It gets me through a full day. I usually have about 25% left uh, by 11 p.m. Uh, we're getting a decent size 4,500 milliamp hour battery in here, which is pretty good given the size of the phone overall. But obviously we do have that 120 hertz with that pretty powerful processor. So that does have an impact, particularly of course, if you are playing games all day. Uh, although I did find one hour of gaming used up about 22% of the battery. So the battery life is fine, it's good, nothing really to write home about. But of course we do also have that fast 65 watt dark charging, so you can top it up nice and quickly. And then there's the camera, which I think as we all pretty much expected is kind of the only area that makes this not quite the full flagship killer that it could have been, but it's still pretty good. It's a triple lens setup with a 64 megapixel main, 16 megapixel ultra wide, and a macro lens, so no telephoto here. And also the main lens does use Sony's older IMX682 sensor, which is the same one you get in, say, last year's Realme 7 Pro. But it still does a good job. Yes, it's not going to quite compete with your S21 Ultra or iPhone 12 Pro Max, but again, given that £325-ish early bird price, it's pretty damn good for the money. Colors are accurate and not too oversaturated, skin tones are realistic, and dynamic range is actually very good, with bright clouds and dark shadows equally well exposed. Although the quality does dip in lower light as you'd expect, there's more noise and fine detail gets a little softer, but the night mode does help things out a little bit. We do also get this ultra macro mode, which is fine, but honestly the quality is a bit iffy and it's not something I'd use very often. We do get stabilized 4K 30 video though, which is great to see. It tops out at 4K 60, but there's no 8K. And also the front video caps at 1080p, which is fine, but again, not quite flagship. So should you buy this? Well, downsides, there's no micro SD, no IP water resistance, so-so battery, and the camera is good, but not amazing. But on the plus side, we get this fantastic design, top-notch performance with impressive cooling, this lovely screen, fast charging, and just a completely unbeatable price. So hats off to Realme. They've produced a stunning, incredibly good value phone, and I highly recommend it. And I will leave links below if you want to check it out. Although I should say the entry level model with eight gigs of RAM and 128 storage will uh, only be on AliExpress, which you can still buy in the UK, but the highest spec one with 12 gigs of RAM and 256 storage will be coming to Amazon. And I'll leave links for both in the description as well as everything else you need to know. But I know why you guys have been watching to the end, not just to listen to me waffle on, it's because you want to know how you can win one of these. Well, it's very simple actually. I will leave a Gleam link in the description below and also in the pinned comments. So just follow that and there's a bunch of ways you can enter. I have 10 phones to give away. It is UK and Europe only, I'm afraid. That's just a logistical restriction I was given. And also this will only be running for two days. I will pick the winners on the 17th, confirm with them, uh, and then let you guys know via a pinned comment as well. And if you are one of the lucky 10 uh, to win, it would be amazing if you could then share your thoughts, maybe a quick review of what you think of it when you receive your device. Both myself and Realme would love to know what you guys think of this as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time right here in this very hot and uh, muggy studio. I've got to figure out the airflow for this place. In the studio next time on the Tech Chat. Thanks for watching.